All right, so I hope everybody out there is having a great day. We have some brand new spoilers from Weekly Shonen Jump covering the first episode of Super for 2018. We got a little bit of information a few weeks ago, but now we have a lot more details to what's going on in that episode. So I want to let everybody know if you don't want to get spoiled, this is not the video for you. These are legitimate spoilers from Weekly Shonen Jump. So click off now. Thank you for supporting the channel, but we're going to get into what's going to happen in that episode. And it's very interesting. It is very interesting. The first episode of 2018. Before we get to it, though, Geekdom 101 t-shirts. Quick plug. Won't take up too much of your time. Teespring.com slash Geekdom 101. Still available. Uh, holiday season's wrapping up, but you can still get yours. Um, very happy with the design by Thomas Lav. Teespring.com slash Geekdom 101. I will leave that down below in the comments for you to check out that those shirts because I, I love them and they're very comfortable too. And I'm not just saying that because I'm selling them. I really do like them. So let's get right into it, folks. Dragon Ball Super Episode 122. Staking his pride, Vegeta challenges the strongest January 7th. Previously, we knew this was kind of going to happen, that Vegeta was going to challenge the strongest, and we pretty much assumed it was Jiren. Well, this confirms that, yes, it is Jiren. Vegeta attacks the strongest warrior, Jiren. Only warriors from Universe 7 and 11 remain at the Tournament of Power. So, in case you couldn't figure this out, which I sort of, we all sort of did if you watched the previous spoiler videos that have been going up on the channel, the Universe 3 battle with Ani Raza uh, against Universe 3 is going to be over by the end of episode 121. Now, I do want to make a quick correction on something real quick. I made a mistake in my recent Dragon Ball Super review that I didn't even pick up on until like two days afterward and in my preview. I don't know if you guys have ever had like the Mandela effect. And if you don't know what that is, you know, look it up. But sort of like when you think something happened, but it didn't. I watched that episode twice and I could have sworn that Gohan eliminated the Megazord. I could have sworn that I saw that two times. And then when I watched it again, I saw, wait a minute, no, he didn't eliminate the Megazord. That was weird because in my head, I don't know, I had watched it two times. I could have sworn he did it, but no, he did not. And that's how Aniraza was born. You know, it's going to be Dr. Paparoni fusing with you know, the three robots to make Aniraza, the big white monster from episode 121. Well, this pretty much confirms that Aniraza might be big and tough, but he's not making it out of episode 121. So this weekend's episode, he's out. And I do want to remind everybody that after this weekend, Super's going to be on break uh, at the end of the year. So December 31st, December 30th weekend, there will not be an on there will not be a Dragon Ball Super episode. So I'm just letting everybody know that this is gonna be January 7th. Okay, so remember that. No Dragon Ball Super. This weekend, because I have to explain it very thoroughly, some folks always forget. This weekend there will be an episode. The next weekend there will not be. This this preview is for two weeks from now. So says here Vegeta challenges Jiren to battle in Goku's stead. Basically, Goku is still recovering. And Vegeta wants a piece of him. This is typical Dragon Ball stuff. We've seen this a million times. Vegeta wants to fight the enemy. And I hate to say it, but we... I don't want to say it's predictable until it happens. Because otherwise, I can't really critique it because it hasn't happened yet. But Vegeta is probably going to lose to Jiren. I mean, let's be real here. Uh, I've said it before. Either Vegeta's going to get trashed... Or he's going to get Ultra Instinct, or he's going to lose to Jiren, even if he gets Ultra Instinct. You, you know what I mean? So, I really believe that this is going to be to stall for time. No different than what Vegeta did with Majin Buu at the end of the Buu Saga, when Goku was preparing the Genki Dama. Same thing here. Same idea here. But, um, I just don't see how Jiren won't just trash this guy. You know? But we'll see what happens. It doesn't really say what happens, but he's going to at least challenge Jiren. Now, here's where it gets interesting, all right? Frieza this week, targeting Dispo. Universe 11's Dispo tries to hinder Universe 7's warriors. Disliking this strategy, Frieza selects Dispo as his next target. So, we're not only going to get Vegeta versus Jiren, we're also going to get Frieza versus Dispo, which I like because we haven't seen much of Frieza in this arc. We know that he has that awesome, true golden Frieza form, which I did a video explaining that, how he was able to get that form a while back with Kendamu. If you're new to the channel and you have not watched that video, I will link to it because it's a very, very interesting look at how he got the form if you didn't know that. But it looks like we're going to get Frieza and Dispo. And then that, of course, makes me wonder, okay, well, what about Topo? What's he going to do? Is it going to be Topo versus Gohan? 
I have a feeling the androids aren't going to be around much longer. I think they might get tossed. So it could end up being, you know, Frieza, you know, Frieza versus Dispo, Topo versus Gohan, Jiren versus Vegeta, while Goku rests. And that would make sense. That would make sense if the androids are eliminated. Now, I'm not saying they are eliminated. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it, it, it's very possible. So, anyways, what do you think? Are you excited to see Vegeta versus Jiren? I, for one, am because I want this tournament to finally get to the main event. And we are here at last in the main event, Universe 7 against Universe 11. Predictable, yeah, a little bit, but that's okay as long as they give us... They follow through with that, you know, as long as they give us some good action. Frieza and Dispo, I do want to see True Gold and Frieza against Dispo. I want to see how strong Frieza's actually gotten at full strength, and I look forward to seeing that. So, thank you so much for checking out this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about these spoilers, and I think Super's going to be very interesting early 2018. I really do, and we'll see where it goes. But thank you, as always. Hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you soon.